So instead of a meat case, we've got a little bit of something different going on in my garage. Relief, relief case. Relief case instead of a kosher meat case. And uh, my dad's gonna explain to you what we've got going on. Oh, so these are all duffels that we're bringing to Israel. They made it safely from Seattle to New York. This is stuff which is going to an army unit where they're gonna pick it up at the airport in Israel and take it straight down there. Louie, do you wanna to go to Israel? Mom, can you pack? I, 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 I figured out how to fit him in here. Can oh, you? perfect. Sure. Okay. So what's going in the bag besides Louie? Well, we're trying to fit Louie in there. He's mm. going to go as a food sniffing dog. Yeah, he's, he's a good at that. He's a animal. Yes, he's a good animal. Yes, you are. We have uh, different kinds of coats. Mm. Uh, we have camelback cleaning supplies. We have liquid IV. Batteries, headlamps, socks. Okay, here's an interesting question. Socks. People want to un are trying to understand why do people in Israel need this stuff right I'll now? Explain. The main reason is because when they called up a couple hundred thousand reservists, they came up way short on supplies. Unfortunately for the reservists, there's a lot of un non properly matching equipment. They've also hit a very rainy period right mm. now, so they've needed rain jackets. This isn't like in the United States where they have these massive government warehouses filled with supplies that never get used. Right. In Israel, it's much more efficient, but they were not ready to call up a couple right. hundred thousand extra people. And everybody who's going to Israel right now is trying to take whatever they can to help. Yes.